Hi everyone, today I'm going to do an at-home facial treatment. This is something that I would do regularly. Um, I don't really go for salon facials very often, maybe two to three times a year. So the rest of the time I do it at home just because I enjoy doing facial massage. I know anyone who's watched my videos know that I like facial massages and all the kind of facial treatments that you can do at home. I just find them quite relaxing. So especially now at the moment when there is more time, so I am actually doing a lot more than I probably would normally. I'm also going to use some of the products that I've recently used up, so my empties, things that I've either used up within the last month that I've been at home, or things that in the last couple of weeks have been used up that I've just held on to the empty packaging because I wanted to do this video. And there, some of the things are they've already, they've been on the go for kind of months. So we're gonna go through all of those. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is an empty, and this is Herbal Essentials Cleansing Balm. I finished using this about a week ago. I'm not sure how much I paid for this, but it says that on the internet it's between 10 and 18 pounds, depending on where you get it from. And it lasted me quite a long time because it's a nice thick balm. The founder is Pakistani and it's all based around Himalayan spring water, so quite mineral rich water, potassium and um, high in calcium and all those sorts of things. So it's a really nice um, texture. It also has sunflower oil and um, vitamin E oils and things like that. So it's pretty hydrating and moisturizing. It does have some essential oils in, so that's where the fragrance comes from. And it does, it's, they're not high up in the ingredients list, but I'd say if you were very, very sensitive, you might find that, that a problem. But I did really enjoy using this and I thought for the money, it was good value for money. And if you like those kind of nice, thick, balmy textures, I mean, to be honest, I started using this when I was still out and about. So um, probably wearing more makeup than I am now, whereas now I'm wearing a lot less. So on a day to day basis, so I'm not using as many of those heavy balm cleansers that I usually do really enjoy. I think we could say the same for um, yeah, the Emma Hardy um, cleansing balm, which is a great one. And I have, I tend to have that one in my travel kit. I have the most unbelievable, <laughs> I feel like I'm an expert in traveling with beauty products because I do so many trips and some of them are very last minute. So I have within my um, bathroom cabinet, which is just around the corner, they have all different drawers and one is dedicated simply to travel and it will be all kinds of stuff that, things like this. So I was given this at Christmas, which is a small, a mini of the cleansing balm. This is a dream for me because then I can fill it up every time. And I know that if I go on a, a trip that's just one night where I don't want to check in luggage, I can just fill this up. So over the last few weeks, I've actually just used this one up because I didn't want it sitting there. And um, I can fill it up if, when I travel again. Um, but that's the kind of thing that if I was traveling or if I'm wearing a lot of makeup or I want to do a facial massage, so I want to use something which has a lot of nourishment and treatment oils, then this is a really good one. Oh, my phone just flashed, so hopefully that's okay. I think so. Um, so yeah, so I've been using that one, but just to use up what's in the small pot. And then another cleanser that I've been using, and this is also from my travel kit because I love this um, Oskia Renaissance cleansing gel and they do a 35 mil one which I think is 15 pounds here which is really good value for money and I really like this cleanser. This is just the most divine melting cleansing gel. It's got quite a distinct fragrance which you either love or hate. I personally love it um, and you put it on and it's just really it's not as heavy as some of the balms that I'd say that if I was wearing like loads of false eyelashes and you know i had been doing like a PR event I would probably go for more of a thick treatmenty balm to take my makeup off and do a double cleanse with if my makeup was like in the middle so I had makeup on um, this one is so nice and it turns immediately from a gel to an oil and it just feels so good on the skin then you put a tiny bit of water on and it just turns into the most beautiful milky 
face washy cleanse and you can remove your makeup with a cloth. So that one is one I've nearly finished now. I'm just using it all up because there's no sign of travel on my horizon. So I'm kind of working through my travel kit. Not that I'm not enjoying not traveling, I have to say I really am. And I quite enjoyed going through all my travel drawer of products as well because a lot of the things are really great products that I kind of almost save because I've already put them into small pots or they're ones where I've bought smaller containers so I um of sizes of the products so that I can keep them just in the in the travel kit so I don't usually raid that drawer so I've quite enjoyed raiding it myself um so that's another one uh the only other one I was using and it's one I got sent right before the lockdown and I have to just get it it's a Neil's Yard one if you like Neil's Yard which is it's a 95% organic, 100% natural, I, I, I'll get it in a second. It's a clean, um, It's similar to the Oscar, as in it's a melting cleanser. So it's one of those almost gel to oil to, to milk type things. And it's the frankincense one. And I've been quite enjoying using that because this, this one is empty really now. Um, I'm gonna take over with the Neil's Yard one. And that's one that, because I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I would definitely do a little massage with that at night and in the morning. Again, it's one, they all have some, all of these have some level of essential oils in them. I'm fine with all of that. I don't have, I wouldn't say sensitive skin. And at the moment, probably because I'm indoors so much and the heating's been on a lot, even though like it's so sunny today, it's gorgeous. It's actually quite cold. Um, so the heating has been on a lot and I really feel like my skin is dried out. So the only makeup I have on today is foundation, highlighter, a little bit of highlighter, a little bit of blush, mascara, and I had a tinted lip balm on which is probably gone by now or maybe there's still a little bit of it on, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to use, I think what's left of this, which is the Oscar one. So I'm just gonna show you. So this is, like I wouldn't use any more than that. So this would be a really nice, I just pat it over my skin. And then I just do a massage. I could do a double cleanse with this if I wanted to really massage a lot, but because I'm wearing such light makeup, I've not really been doing the double cleanse thing, although I have been doing loads of face massage, but I tend to be doing it just with the first cleanse. So just now, I'll definitely use this as a moment to cleanse my face. Sorry, to massage my face. And if you want to see my full routine for massaging, there is a video which I link to down below and it shows the full routine, how I do it, do the first cleanse, do the second cleanse, and then how I would do like a full, full on massage. I'm actually gonna leave my mascara on because I just fancy wearing mascara for the rest of the day. I don't mind not having any makeup on, but um, you know, you know how it is. It's just quite nice sometimes to have your eyelashes curled and a little bit of mascara on. Okay, so I've finished massaging. I'm gonna go and add a touch of water. The sink is just over there. So I'm gonna add a touch of water and then I'm going to use a cloth just to remove that bit of foundation that I had on. And I think that should hopefully get rid of all of the um, makeup. If not, I'll do a, a second version of this. Sorry, the sun's just come around, so I look a little bit brighter now. Um, maybe that's good. Anyway, I just, um, so I removed my makeup. I just did the one cleanse. As I say, there was foundation on there, but it wasn't a lot. So I removed the foundation. That was next to the sinks. That's the one I'm about to start using now, which I think is a similar, I've used it once. It's very nice texture and it's, again, one of those, gel oils that turns into a milky type texture, which I really like, and it's not, I will definitely go back to using the Emma Hardy, I think once I'm wearing a little bit more makeup again, or if I am using, um, doing a proper like full on face massage, where I wanna spend like 15 minutes, 
you know, as a second cleanse, really, really going to town on the facial massage, I'll use that. The only other thing I've used, which, uh, yeah, it's almost empty, it's nearly gone now, and this is what I call my lazy cleanse, so I often keep next to the bed something that is just in case I've got into bed, forgotten to take my makeup off. It's been happening a lot recently, I think it's because I'm not really wearing much makeup, and I have been watching TV in bed, um, and then I suddenly start to get tired and think, oh, you know, better get up and cleanse my face, and then I'm feeling a bit lazy. So I've just been using this one, which is the Pixie Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. And I've enjoyed using this just with some cotton wool pads and just, I wouldn't say it would take off like waterproof makeup or, uh, sorry, waterproof eye makeup, or if I was wearing like proper full on concealer and foundation and makeup. Um, but as a kind of quick cleanse, um, it's probably a really nice one for the morning, but I've gone through that just by doing the odd cleanse at night and just taking off the kind of just cleaning my skin at night when I haven't wanted to get up. So the next thing is for exfoliation, I think you remember if anyone's seen any of my other videos, I never use like scrub scrubs. I tend to, my favorite thing is lactic acid peels. So the one that I was gonna show you the empties, but now I can't find the little bottle. I think it's because it's so small that one of the cats has probably just played a game with it and it's probably somewhere on the floor somewhere. But um, I had a set of Dermalogica Age Smart exfoliate, Exfoliator and it was a set of 10. They're about this big and they're individual peels. And the reason I like it is because I've got on well with Dermalogica products in the past. And secondly, when I looked at the ingredients, the first three ingredients were lactic acid, glycerin and pumpkin enzymes, which I know I'm good with. So as I say, all of these products I'm using happen to be good. I get on well with them. It's such a personal thing, skincare, that it's so hard to say, I recommend this, I recommend that with skincare because it's just not really, it's just not really possible. But, um, and it's one that you just break off the thing, you put it all over the skin, wait a couple of minutes and rinse off and that is your enzyme cleanse. That's your cleanse done. And um, I've loved using it, so I definitely would reinvest in that. The other thing I've been reinvesting in for, I'm not gonna use it today, but is the overnight clearing gel, Dermalogica. And I think I used this in a video 10 years ago and said it was my holy grail for just, if I feel like I've got any spots coming up. I get less spots now than I did 10 years ago, so that's obvious. Um, but if I do ever feel like I've got spots, I will put a thin layer of this on, kind of just in the main areas, or even if I've got blocked pores, and um, it's a salicylic acid and zinc base and it just cleans out my pores. And this is something that I've probably been buying regularly for 20 years and other people in the household use this as well. So I have to always make sure that I order two of these because uh, they get used up. Um, so onto what I'm gonna use next in my facial. So I've cleansed, um, I did the exfoliation about two days ago so I wouldn't be doing that again. Plus it's now all gone. So the next thing I would do would be to use my um, my face massager, and this is the microcurrent one that I use, which um, and now I can't remember the name of it. Wow, that's crazy. My new face, that's it. Wow, gosh, what happened there? Um, I don't have any, I know I've done this in the past, and I've done videos on this, and I've used it with um, aloe vera. I don't have that, and what I'm actually trying to do is use up all the stuff I have at home during this lockdown. So I'm not actually buying anything new, um, but I am using up everything. So this is the gel that just comes with the actual new face, which I didn't use up before, but I think, well, you know, I should. Waste not, want not. And this is something that you've seen me do so many times. And I, at the moment, I've got loads of time to do it. So I will do this for I wouldn't say 10 minutes every night, but some nights, if I've got longer, I will actually do it for longer. This is the um, the bigger size one. I also have a mini, which is great for traveling. I started off with the mini. I think it's honestly just as good as the big size one. But um, while I'm at home, I'm using the big one. But I think they're both equally, they're quite similar. 
So I think I've got another video which I'm gonna to link to where I do a full face with this, but I feel like this video is already about an hour long. So next thing I'm gonna talk about are two face masks that I've been using. The first one is BU, and this is a New Zealand founded brand that's all harnessing the power of Manuka honey. So the Manuka trees obviously are indigenous to New Zealand, and although all honey is antibacterial to some degree, Manuka honey is far superior in that respect. So it's anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, um, and it's extremely nourishing. This one also has royal jelly and bee pollen and um, bee venom in. So I don't know if you've ever used those lip glosses and things that contain bee venom, where you feel a slight tingling when you put them on as they they cause a kind of reaction in the skin and what this, I mean, you can't use this if you've got any kind of a bee allergy or anything like that. But um, if you have, it depends if you've ever been stung by a bee apparently, but if you haven't, you can have something like that on your lips or in this case on your face and it starts to convince your system, your immune system that you're being sort of stung by a bee. So all of your circulation will rush to the, the site to kind of heal the skin from within. So when, you use this sometimes the first time you use it your skin can go quite pink um mine didn't particularly but but um i can't remember maybe i have been stung by bees in the past but um i've heard of people that have their skin goes quite pink with it so it's one that i would definitely say is great if you have an event coming up or it's i mean it's incredibly nourishing as well so there's lots of other ingredients in there. It's not just bee venom and, and, and royal jelly. The other one that I've started using, uh, because my skin has been drier than normal. So normally with face masks, I would have clay ones, which are more for the center of my face. And then I would use more moisturizing ones around the outside. But I feel like all of my skin feels drier than normal. And that is probably because I've been in so much, the heating's been on, when I have been out it's quite cold, and then it's, um, you know, you're constantly, you've constantly got the heat going on. So the other one that I've been using, and again, I've written down some of the, the uh, things about this, is this one, which is Italian, it's called Irina Oren um, Forte. And this is one which I'd say it's more on the, it's a pistachio nut mask. So again, not good with nut allergies. Um, and this one is super hydrating and it's cruelty free, it's actually vegan, Italian brand. It has loads of nut and fruit oil, so it's not got the essential oils in. Aloe leaf, avocado oil, shea butter, so it's definitely not good if you're more um, worried about acne or clogging pores. It's more for hydration and really deep, deep conditioning of the skin. Um, it has pumpkin seed oil, olive oil, pistachio oil, vitamin E oil, I mean, you name it, it's in there. It's definitely great for super hydration. Uh, this is what I'm gonna use now. The only thing I don't like about it is like a lot of these products, they all contain some level of fragrance. Usually it's just to mask the, the ingredient smell, but this one has, um, I don't dislike the, I don't dislike the smell of it. I'd say it smells more like a fragrance than an ingredient smell. Oh, there's people outside that are making loads of noise. But the actual feeling of putting it on is heaven. I'd say this is great for dry, mature, or just hugely dehydrated skin that needs a huge drink and a lot of nourishment which is definitely how I'm feeling at the moment. I think once we get out of this lockdown situation and I'm out and about a little bit more, I wouldn't use this as much as I've been using it. I've probably got enough for one more mask in there. And of course, I've been doing my neck as well. I'm gonna talk about one other face mask while this is on. I don't really use um, that much um, brushes for this sort of thing, just because it's another brush to wash, really. It's more laziness than anything else. I'm using the phone to put this on, so I hope I'm not making a huge mess of it. Mm. So smooth, this cream. Yeah, so this is just full of really nourishing nut and fruit oils. Mm. 
and your skin definitely looks very plumped up when you take it off. I'm going to leave that on for, I mean, they say you can leave it on for overnight, a thin layer, but I'm going to leave that on for about 20 minutes. Oops, did make a bit of a mess. I'm going to do the back of my hands as well, which I always do with face masks if I'm going to leave them on for a while. I'm all about doing my hands. I think it's because as well with shoots and things these days, there's often filming on shoots. Am I still filming? Yeah. And um, half the time I won't be in it because they're just filming the, whatever, the model or the celebrity, but my hands are always in it. So whereas in like the first kind of 10 years of doing makeup, you never really got filmed on set. And now I see my hands all the time and I'm always saying, and now I just pay so much attention to my hands. So I'm definitely going to put a layer of this on my hands. I've upped the ante on my hand care hugely. While that's on there, hands and face, I'm going to talk about the last mask that I've been using, which I'm going to use. I am still going to put this one on, actually, because I'm going to use some of the serum that's left from it. And this is the... Sioris, and this is a Korean brand, not very expensive actually, and this is the Make It Bright. And I liked this because I liked the attention that they've gone to with the actual mask inside is completely recyclable, it's eucalyptus base, the actual fabric, and um, this is recyclable um, packaging as well, which I thought was nice because sometimes the thing about throwaway mask and using this type of mask is really that there is a lot of waste in, you know, plastic packaging and then sometimes the masks themselves aren't biodegradable and it's just more waste you're creating. Some of them even have like the plastic, you know, the backing is all plastic. You take off them anything in. This is too much. Um, whereas this one's all completely recyclable. Okay, so I've had this mask on for about 10 minutes now and it's starting to almost become transparent. It almost starts to feel sort of thinner and oilier. You can feel that kind of... If you've got oily skin, it's probably making you die, the thought of having this kind of oily thing on your face. And to be honest, as someone that always had really oily skin and acne, I, can't, I couldn't imagine my, myself ever using something like this, but at the moment it is just that dry, um, dehydrated and dry feeling. A really good alternative, which is um, much cheaper, is the Hydrophase Intense Mask by La Roche-Posay. This is another one which must be almost empty because um, whenever I feel like I've been on a long flight or something I'll often use this yeah it's got this really nice um, thick kind of creamy texture which again when you have it on you feel it almost melting into your skin so that's a really good one if you are looking for um, a cheaper alternative to this pistachio age defying mask that I'm wearing. Okay, so I left that on for a good 20 minutes and I've just removed it and it's left behind. It does leave a residue, this mask. So it feels like I am fully moisturized. Like I wouldn't put anything on top of this. So had I done that, um, was going somewhere, I'd probably just put my makeup on now. That's how moisturized I feel, but that's just me. Um, but my skin feels like it's had, yeah, just like the, the biggest dose of kind of moisture. Um, so it feels really good. Um, I am gonna put one of these on, just so you can see. And we've got time, listen, just, I think I'm gonna use up everything in my bathroom during this time. So here's the mask, so it doesn't have any plastic backing on or any waste. Feels really nice, it's, um, it does feel different to other face masks that I've tried before. Um, doesn't look different when it's on. It's very thin. It smells, oh, it smells so good. Mm. This feels really nice, it's quenching as well. I think these are such good value for money. They kind of tick all the boxes, good ingredients, um, eco-friendly and, you know, not too expensive. I'm going to put that slightly over my eyelids as well. Okay, wow, this is turning into a mega facial session. Hold on a minute, where's the nose bit? This one's nearly empty as well. This is the Skin Food Lip Balm. Love this stuff. 
unfortunately I've lost the lid, um, but that's okay. Just keep this next to the bed, massively thick layer on before bed, or if I'm doing um, something like a, a mask, you know, the normal mask, I'll put the big thick layer of this on. Um, what else is nearly empty? Ah, oh, this one's nearly empty. Um, I've talked about this a lot, which is another Korean brand. This is the Cosmetic Immunity, and this is their, I love, love, love their spray, hydrating spray. So I'll use this morning, noon, and night on top of makeup, under makeup, um, and that one's nearly gone. Ah, this, and I don't really know anything about this. I haven't done any research. Chloris, and this was the Luxury CBD Balm. This is completely empty. I've had that next to my bed and I rub it in my feet every night. Um, feet and kind of lower legs, ankles, all of that. Firstly, my feet are now the softest feet in the world. I think they really, really are. Um, and this is just the richest, richest, thick, thick balm. So this is shea butter, coconut butter, mango butter. Um, it also has Obviously the hemp oil, the hemp waxes absolutely stinks. When I put it on my feet, my husband was like, oh, what is that awful smell? But, uh, and it's this, it doesn't smell good, but, um, oh. <laughs> but would I buy it again? Yes, I would. I think does the CBD thing, it's high strength CBD, so it's high strength um, thing. And I thought, well, it might be like really good for relaxing or like, you know, to kind of use at night just to kind of, massage into your legs or I use it sometimes on my elbows as well or my cuticles or I couldn't use it on my lips because I would be able to smell it and it just stinks so um but I do have I can't really show you my feet but I promise you they are they don't they're so soft it's crazy okay so I'm just massaging this I would normally leave this on a bit longer but I'm probably going to take it off but I am going to leave the um serum on it's about five o'clock here now, so um, I'm kind of like thinking of this as a sort of nighttime routine. But I've got one more thing to show you. And I've got a couple more products that I've nearly used up as well. Okay, I'm gonna remove this. Now, actually, if I'd done this earlier on, this is the, exactly the kind of texture that would work well with this. So had I done this earlier on in the routine, this, this mask, I would now use that as um, the conductor for the microcurrent with the new face because these type of very watery serums work really well with it. It mightn't last as long on the skin as the one that comes with it which is quite viscous and you're able to use it. It doesn't really sink in whereas this will sink in and will dry. But I probably get five minutes of um, toning with this. I just work on my jaw. This is the best thing I've ever found for that area of the face and the cheekbones as well. Anyway, I could keep going with this and I would do, but I feel like I've got to finish this video because I think it's at least an hour long, this video. So I'm gonna switch this off and show you the last thing that I wanna show you. I'm just gonna massage that in. So the next thing I'm gonna use, so that's all sunk in now, the serum, that will just stay on. I'm going to use the um, LED boosting mask. So this is one that is, I love LED light. I usually, when we're not in lockdown, I go every weekend to have, have it done in the salon. Um, and then three of these are equivalent to one salon. So I've been using this loads. And I also got the one that's for the neck and kind of chest area. So I'll be using these three times a week at the moment. I also think that as well as being good for your skin and there's lots of proven benefits, it's also good for your mood somehow. The, the light, um, I don't know, just lifts you. It just lifts your mood. So I would not ordinarily put this on now, but I don't know if I want to sit here with this on. <laughs> oh dear, my poor husband. Yeah. This one was quite hilarious because I wore it with my dressing gown and I walked into the room downstairs in the dark the first time I wore it. And when it's on, this is all red lights and um, my dressing gown was kind of like this. And I walked in in the dark and I looked like a kind of robot. So that was uh, <laughs> an interesting moment. 
on my eyes, I've been using the Genifique Light Pearl, and this is a Lancome one. The reason I love this so much is because I keep it in the fridge, and I really like the massager on it, because it's a really good shape, and you can do lots of, um, I don't know, when you wake up in the morning, and it's already on there, the product. It's also got a slightly pearlized finish to the um, serum, so it kind of makes you look a little bit better. I mean, it's a cosmetic, cosmetic effect, but I think the combination of it being freezing cold in the fridge and being able to kind of massage around your eyes, and then once it sinks in, you have a little pearliness around the eyes. It's quite a pleasant thing to have. A couple of other things I've been using a lot of magnesium flakes. Um, used these for years now, absolutely love them. Transdermal magnesium. I love taking magnesium as well because it's so good for relaxing and reducing stress. And if you are feeling stressed in any way, you burn through your magnesium stores. So um, I really like the Better You magnesium flakes. I also have the vitamin B12 spray that they do as well. But I will add to that with one of the Waleedas. These are, actually there's a little bit left in this one. Uh, the lavender milk or the pine milk, or I've got an Arnica one as well. So I just kind of put the salts in and then add a little bit of this. It just gives it a really nice um, aroma and it's kind of a milky, makes the bath quite milky and lovely. Um, Body-wise, I thought it was quite interesting. I finished using, this a while ago, so it's empty. Actually, it should should be in the bin. It's filthy. Um, and this is the Soap Co Rose Body Oil, which I've been using really the last few months. Um, it's just a really nice body oil. And then when I looked into it, not only is it all organic and um, so it's 100% natural and it's a very eco-friendly brand, but also they it's prepared and put together by disabled workers, blind workers. They use, um, it's a very inclusive, community-spirited brand. So I thought that was definitely worth a mention. And the rose body oil is lovely. Actually, it's, that's on the turn now because I think I've had the lid off and it's just been sitting by my bed because I wanted to include it in a video. I had been using this body solve as a replacement once I'd finished the rose body oil. And this is the St. Iris Adriatica and it's the Everybody Serenity Solve because the ingredients in it was so good and it feels so nice on the skin. However, it's one of those that really moisturises you but sinks in, which will be fine once I get out of the centrally heated building. Um, and I've actually had to go back to this, which was in my makeup kit, which is the um, Lipicar AP Plus. And this is um, an incredible, incredible body lotion from um, La Roche-Posay. If you just feel like the lipid layer of your skin, like nothing you can put on it can moisturize it. You know, when you get those legs, which I feel like I've got at the moment on the backs of my arms. Um, and it's definitely due to being indoors and, and heating on all the time. Um, but you put this on and you feel fully quenched in your skin, on your body. And um, this is just in its anti-irritation. So if you do have that kind of skin that when it gets unbelievably dry, that you have that almost itchy feeling in your arms or legs, then this is a really, really great one. Now, one other thing that deserves a mention is the Lagom, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, Celius Sun Gel. And this is SPF 50. Uh, PA++, so it's a real broad spectrum um, facial sunblock. And this I've been using for a good few months. And the reason I like it so much, it's a Korean one, um, South Korean brand. The reason I like it so much is because it completely disappears. It's the only one that I found recently. It's really good as well if you've got oily skin or you're one of those people that doesn't like um, sun creams and SPF to feel in any way greasy. I actually thought it was a nano because I couldn't believe how much it went into the skin and how much it didn't leave any residue. Plus, it's just not greasy at all. I'm gonna put some on just to show you. Um, so I'd already got into it, so I'm still using it. Oh, it's nearly gone. I'm still using it because every day I go on the roof here, um, because just to get some sun on my body, I don't want to get low in vitamin D. And the other thing I just realized is my vitamin um, D3 and K2, which I take every day, 
is now completely empty. So I'm going to order some of that, which I think is essential. So, so you can see how it doesn't leave any whiteness on the skin whatsoever. And I've used it on models that have really dark skin and you just don't see it on the surface of the skin. And it hardly takes any blending and then it kind of just disappears into the skin. And I find it's a really nice one for um, under makeup. It's just not greasy at all. Now, there are certain things in there which if you've got sensitive skin, unfortunately, I'll give you the cons now. That's the pros. Put it across the eyelids. Maybe I'll just go and get the sun so nice. It's kind of five, five o'clock. So now's a good time to get some sun. I'm going to do my neck and chest properly in a minute. Um, I wrote down a few things about it because the, there were some, there's definitely pros. I thought if you've got oily skin and you want to wear it under makeup, it's amazing. It's definitely not greasy. It feels so lightweight. Um, and You can put a lot on, you know, and you do need to put quite a lot of sunblock on. Um, but I put quite a lot even on then. And I don't, you just don't feel that kind of thick, um, the way you get with some sun creams. The cons, however, is that um, alcohol denat, which is one of the most drying alcohols, was the third ingredient. So, and it does have silicones and pegs. Um, it does have something called, um, what do they call it? Aqualysia, which is a, um, a Nobel Prize winning peptide. Um, it's sort of three in one that delivers intense moisturization into the skin because although it is non-greasy, I'd say it's not drying, which is strange because it's got alcohol to nat, which you'd think it would be really drying. So maybe that's how they, one cancels out the other because it definitely doesn't feel drying. Um, so yeah, so if you do have that, it also has um, essential oil. So it's got bergamot, mayor, lavender i mean they're lower down the list but if you are sensitive and dry um i'd say it's definitely not for you but if you're more combination and you want something that is really light and does disappear into the skin and doesn't leave you a white greasy residue mess then i think it's a actually a really really nice one so i am going to go and get a little bit of sun um on the terrace there i'm going to don't worry, I'm gonna do my chest and put some on my arms and everything. I've got a different one for my arms. Um, but I hope that was fun. Ended up being so rambly. I do feel like this video is about three hours long. So I hope it's not too boring. Um, do let me know in the comments about products that you've been using, what you're enjoying using. Are you enjoying just the ritual of self-care? And I think that's what this is about. You know, I don't need to be doing all this stuff. You're right, you're like, oh my God, you've done two face masks and a but there is something about just massaging your face or putting on a face mask or using a face massager or even just massaging around your eyes in the morning that does just make you feel better somehow. Um, so let me as well know any new products that you've discovered, any good products that you think we should all know about, anything new and interesting. Let me know if you've got a secret stash of lazy cleanser next to your bed because you know, you're not gonna get up and cleanse properly at the moment. Um, and any nice body treatments or bath treatments or anything else that you um, you think we should all know about. So do let me know in the comments. The comments are giving me life and um, I know lots of you feel the same as well. So take care everyone, stay safe, stay well and I'll see you soon.